Hi, I'm Max Olmsted, pastor at the Dover Church, United Church of Christ in Dover, Massachusetts, and I'd like to welcome you to an online learning experience called Practicing Jesus. I started doing this a long time ago as a book form in small groups that I led here at the church. But then when COVID started, I realized that a better way would be to do it online so that people uh, further afield could get access to this material and maybe gain something from it. And I might be able to reach out to people who are looking for a word and for folks who aren't really booky. Um, my hope is that you will use this material and reach out to me or reach out to your pastor or your friends and discuss it so that uh, your faith can grow in community. Um, a word about this. Um, this is a, a book I wrote um, about who Jesus is. And I call it Practicing Jesus because I think that it's important for us to hear what Jesus has to say and then try to do what he said and see what our response is so that we can find what our own exact experience is and move from reading words and saying, yes, that's what I believe, to having your own words so that your belief grows out of your own lived experience. When Jesus himself says, um, the wise person will be like a, a person who builds his house on a rock. And when the storm comes, the rock stands. And the rock will be your own lived experience relationship with Jesus. So in the following sessions, which I recommend you do in order, um, and I also recommend that you take time to journal a bit. Now, if journaling is something that's new to you, it'll be a huge learning edge. But if you, I'm going to pause and ask you questions to reflect on. And it really will be most powerful if you take a moment to write down what it is that you're thinking right at that moment. So both of this, so that you can look back and also so that you get some clarity. Um, and it would be good if you were doing this with someone else so that you could talk about it because you might be amazed to see that other people have the same questions that you have, the same doubts, and we're gonna to get to doubt, doubt not being a big problem in faith in my experience. Um, I should say that I'm coming at this from a very uh, particular perspective. I've been a member of the United Church of Christ in Massachusetts most of my life. I've been a member of United Church of Christ in other places in the United States. Uh, I've been ordained and served four churches in New England. Um, and the United Church of Christ is not what um, most people think of when they hear the word Christian today. Christian has very different connotations. So what I may be saying um, will be a surprise for some of you, perhaps an um, um, upsetting surprise, but for some of you, perhaps a delightful surprise that Christianity can be that what you didn't think it was allowed to be. So I look forward to the next um, weeks with you, maybe months. Do this at your own pace. Take your time. Reach out to me at max at thedoverchurch.org um, and share your responses. Perhaps something you say will spur me to do a session, a chapter on your question that hadn't occurred to me. Um, I look forward to it. I thank you for coming, and I wish God's blessing upon you.